see ball. So you're gonna need some warm water, which I have just put in a measuring cup. You're gonna need a bowl. You're gonna need a spoon. I have some glitter. I have um, food coloring. Mine happens to be lime green. And then I have borax. So this should all be ready to go for you, but I did not, I haven't done mine yet. So the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna pour half of a cup of warm water into a bowl. So go ahead and get your warm water. I have to measure mine, almost there. Okay, so I have a half a cup of warm water. Once I have the warm water, I'm gonna take my food coloring and I'm gonna put three or four drops in there. You can use any color you want. If you wanna mix colors, you just have to be careful not to mix opposites. So red, orange, and yellow, they would be great for mixing. You can mix yellow with just red. You can mix yellow and blue and they make green. You can mix um, blue with green to make more of a teal color. You can mix red with blue and that makes purple. You can mix purple with just red or with pink. And so if they are next door neighbors on the rainbow, then they are friends. If they're not next door neighbors, they might not be friends and then they turn a weird color. It's hard to see this. See, mine's kind of limey green, so I have that in there. Now, I am gonna do my borax next. So for borax, it has to dissolve. So I'm gonna get, you should have yours pre-measured in the bag I sent you, but I've got mine in my box. Oh, it really makes it look green in here now. So let's see, mine's kinda, I should have measured this out ahead of time. It's kind of, um, I don't know what the word is. Mine's chunky, there we go. So I need two of these and you just go ahead and dump your whole thing in. Once you have that, it's super important that it dissolves. In science, this is called a solution. So we are creating a solution of borax and water and then food coloring. I, earlier I did this, and so this is my second time doing it, and I had a really cool bouncy ball. I will tell you the balls don't last forever, but that's okay. They're fun to make and they're fun to play with. So you can see I have my hand in here. Um, the borax shouldn't hurt you. I haven't had any issues with it. It's like a laundry detergent, but I'm making sure it dissolves. So the warm water should help it dissolve. Make sure it's not hot water, because then if it's hot water, it might burn your skin. Now, something else I like is I want my bouncy ball to be glittery. So I have some glitter here and you should have some glitter and I'm just gonna add that to it. I'm giving it some pretty good shakes because I like glitter. And so you can see, oops, see I made it so you couldn't see. I'm just gonna stir that in. Now, once I have that mixture made, I made a solution, we're gonna get a chemical reaction. The chemical reaction is the borax reacting with glue and in this case it needs to be clear glue so you should have some clear glue you are just mine is not mine is in the great big jug yours is already measured i'm just going to dump a whole bunch in there and then i'm very quickly going to grab my spoon and i'm just going to stir it will immediately get a big old chunk in there once i get a big old chunk right in the middle and you can see i'm gonna pull that chunk up there see that ew now I have to put my hands in it. This is where it gets really gross. But for me, it is very, very fun because I like to be messy. So I'm using my hand and I'm doing this motion because I'm squishing it and I'm making sure that it's plenty of color and glitter all caught up inside of that glue ball. All right, now that glue and that borax had a chemical reaction and that chemical reaction created a solid. So you have liquids and you have solids. So the glue was a liquid and the water mixed with borax was a liquid. When they reacted, you got a solid and that solid is a bouncy ball. Now for the bouncy ball, you'll notice I am just using my hand and I am forming that into a ball. If you happen to have water left over, which I do, I'm going to set this guy aside. Uh oh, I have an air bubble. Let me squish it some more. When I set this aside, I can actually get more glue. I can pour, as long as I have water, I can pour a little bit more glue in. I'm going to use that spoon. I'm going to stir it up. I'm getting my chunk again. I'm sticking my fingers in. Getting all messy. And then pretty soon, 
I'm going to pull that guy out. I have another solid. So I went from a liquid glue, liquid water, and borax mixture. And now I have a solid. Of course, my hands are all yucky, so my face itches. You know what? I'll give you under my spoon. All right. So now I have a baby ball. So I have two balls. Oh, did you see it? It bounced. Ah! It rolled off the table. Now, again, these will not last forever, and you cannot throw them very hard. But that's all there is to it. Boop! Bouncy balls. You can practice on a table. You can practice on the floor. They won't stick to anything unless you really squish them. So if I were to take this and squish this in my hair, not a good idea. But if I bounce it on the table, or look, it just rolled away, it's going to be fine. See that? I wouldn't play with it outside either. When you're done playing with it, when you set it down, it'll start to flatten. It's not going to hold its shape. It is a solid, but it's a soft solid. So when you get ready to play with it again, you have to hold it together. Now, if you smack it down really hard, it's going to break right in half. One thing you can do if you break it, get some warm water on your hands or run it under the sink. You can roll that ball right back up and you can play with it. And that's how you make a homemade bouncy ball using science. And then because you've got the color and the shape and the glitter, it's also art. You've created your very own bouncy ball. I hope you had fun.